Okay, so yep. it's Incineroar versus Kant. Oh, very interesting. Mm. Oh, so Salem for the Incineroar for the rest of the tournament, maybe? Two characters that were revealed at the same time in the same trailer. <clears throat> Two characters with a lot of flaming passion on this. Oh, one. yeah. A lot of fire being thrown out in this one. A lot. And... Both figuratively and literally. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why they didn't put, um, Flare Blitz on, or instead of Charizard. I think Charizard deserves to have Flare Blitz, though. Yeah. I think, uh, Alolan Whip is more in tune with, um, Incineroar, for some reason. Then again, he is from Alola, which kind of just fits. True. But... I'm sorry. I just really would have liked to see Incineroar go with Flare Blitz, but anyway, in this match right now, really looking interesting what's going on right now. Yeah, I, I feel like they're both trying to fill each other out to try to uh, see their options, because uh, typically in first offs, especially in more higher level play, which I've noticed, is that uh, both players kind of test out options, they kind of feel out how their opponents root Re react in certain situations uh, and then from there uh, towards mid game you'll kind of see their play styles shift and adapt and I feel like that's what's kind of happening here right now they're kind of both testing each other's limits testing you know uh, how far they can go in what what moves they have to respect on their opponent and you know like what what options they can capitalize on and see like it's kind of shifting a little bit uh, uh, with the restaurant we're starting to see some more dangerous players, but <laughs> wow. Yeah. Actually cleaning up that stock with a back air. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Restaurant's really trying to find his way to get in, and Salem's actually covering out a lot of ground and options. Come with the scariest Incineroar dash dance I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. <laughs> Because Salem's like, you want to approach from the bottom? Ooh, you that's two little whips, though. <laughs> Literally side beat three times in a row and two of them hit. The and dash attack on the platform, not though. Not a dash attack I've seen all mm -hmm. the oh. And that's a case of abusing stage transitions to your advantage. Salem definitely abused that stage transition to get closer yeah. to the blast zone and secure that kill. So that was really nice. That was super cool just now. Honestly. As... I actually love watching Salem in these tournaments, man. He yeah, just man. brings a different kind of flair to it, in this sense. Not to say that there's no flair. There's definitely flair, but... Flair, but... <laughs> yeah, he just brings things. a bit of a... He brings a bit of a, like, fresh air um, to oh. a lot of characters that he plays. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, those pockets run deep. Really <laughs> deep. Like, ugh. Ooh. Literally pull out. Um, he's his page literally says he's liable to pull out. Um, out three characters out of this amazing roster of Smash guys. Like what? <laughs> so like, I, I, okay, I was so yeah. dedicated to like just research, and I was like, uh, oh, so, okay. So this man's got two mains. Yeah, okay, fine. He's got Hero and Snake, and then it's like the notable characters down list. Need more. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I'm going to bed. I can't do anything. It's like, I have to hope for the best. Oh, but I really just hope he plays a character we're familiar with. Yeah. We kind of got that, to be fair. Sleep. Kind of. Got that one game of Hero Cheese, and then we got um the Snake Dittos. Mm -hmm. For the record, oh, the bracket was loaded with Snake last week. Explosive as hell. Oh wow! <laughs> Matches were really explosive. I I enjoyed it thoroughly though. Honestly, the snake did the snake doodles were intense. Honestly, <laughs> those are always fun to watch though. In general, then we got even like um we got some clips out of it too. Um, when it was AV versus Salem in the last one, like oh Salem, that was the I'm still in shock by the parry. I'm I'm still in shock by the double or. I don't remember how many parries it was, it, but... Yeah, it was double parry and up tilt. Oh, um, it still gives me goosebumps, in all honesty. Ooh. 
Now I got to switch. Went on a restaurant <laughs> with the can. He actually didn't opt to switch to like Donkey Kong or Greninja. Yeah, I guess he sees the potential in Ken doing the best out of those three characters. Now, I guess Donkey Kong can do better, considering that one, he kills earlier, and two, he does a lot of damage and he covers a lot of ground faster than most characters, but he is a bigger character and that's gonna give Incineroar like a lot to play with. So, I guess Kenny is the better so option. Kind of hope. One thing I've noticed is that it looks like, okay, normally we see Restaurant play a much more aggressive playstyle. He plays like more passive aggressive, but he's playing mostly passive right now. And I'm really hoping that he's not letting the pressure of being up against Salem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that too. Cause... Much better right now. It looks like he's oh. actually able to kill. Yes, he's able to kill. Okay. He hey. Oh, very swiftly. That's yeah, pretty cause, good. Cause... Yeah, because I feel like uh, Restaurant kind of was... Game 1, I feel like Game 1 was probably just kind of to feel how Salem would play, and I feel like a Restaurant's applying what they learned from Game 1 onto Game 2 here, and it's really showing it out here. Uh, just landing a lot of those confirmed hits, and again, landing it mm. up Wow, again, landing that... <laughs> that upbeat kill taking a taking two stocks out of salem here sitting and he's sitting at three stocks 110 percent definitely learning from game one and i feel like ken is a better option because you guys did mention uh him throwing out donkey kong or any other character but i feel like ken is a good pick for this only because ken can not only combo real well but ken can combo well into high damage and kill uh within those combos, so I feel like in this sense, he kind of needs that in this matchup here. Especially with how Salem does play uh, Incineroar. And it's really coming through right now. Wow, and just like that, Salem takes out two stocks out of Restaurant. Cutting mm -hmm. this really close here. This is gonna be a really close match. This is very, very interesting. Like, it's honestly getting down to the wire, and especially seeing, like, how, uh, Restaurant, like, kind of erased just two stocks off of Salem, and Salem just doing the same thing back. It's, it's just going to show, like, how well these players are, in terms of how well they can play their characters, in all honesty. Both adapting to each other's playstyles on the fly, and adjusting their playstyles to their needs at the moment. Right. But... All right, and... Yeah, restaurant's just taking a bit slow here. I've noticed they slow down just a little bit. You try to be very careful with, with how they uh, approach Salem in on here, but Salem is just having a really solid edge guard play here. Oh, he shouldn't have air dodged in. Yeah, yeah. That's the game. Yeah, he shouldn't have air dodged in. Uh, Looking like I... he was off, definitely afraid of a punish coming out, but ends up himself in the perfect position to get punished. I don't throw back air. I've honestly never seen that before. Yeah, it's it's always been down throw forward air with Incineroar, I feel. Because, I mean, I, I want to say that forward air is faster, and it looks like it's faster. But back air, you just don't really see that being used out of down air, per se. It's always been down throw, down air, forward down throw, air. forward air. Or even down throw into uh, in cross jumps. Yeah, but down throw back here looking like a really solid kill option for Incineroar right now. Mm -hmm. And Incineroar, man, you're inside this. Um, right now, system. you should definitely take down some notes from what Salem's doing right now in Incineroar because actually really crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way the way the way how Salem is playing, can definitely you know he's he he's put in some lab work and. Uh, knows exactly uh, what options can kill and uh, what options he can throw out there. And, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, like Incineroar is such a grapple heavy character. So knowing, you know, like what grabs can lead into what uh, is definitely a must. And Salem is showing that uh, the most optimal options out of uh, his grabs. I think, no, it looks like restaurants changing something might be a character but i oh, hope we'll see shortly. to be I... honest i feel like they should stay ryu only because 
that second game was very, very good. I felt like they just got a little bit oppressed at the edge on that mm -hmm. last block. If they weren't there, I felt like that game could have shifted around more towards their favor. Right. But I highly recommend they should say Ryu only because uh, just that game was just so close. Like they, they, they had it. They, they had the idea of how to handle Salem mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in that game. But I mean, they're not wrong to switch characters either. Only because uh, now at this point Salem is going to know to expect he's he's going to be adapted appropriately. Right. So, oh, he's so switching cool. to Marth. Oh, I forgot he had a Marth as well. Oh wow. Well. Oh, Wanna try and outspace the Incineral? I I guess so, but at the same time, I guess he is able to play more so into that patient play style. It's the play right now. So we're gonna see how this goes for him right now. Mm -hmm. Marth is not a bad pick. Uh, I'm actually surprised, actually, Marth coming out. Uh, but Marth does have appropriate disjoints to handle in Incineroar, uh, especially since Incineroar does want to get really close to you. I feel like Marth can kick and handle a lot of those approaches, but they do have to space appropriately. And unfortunately, that first stock gets taken out uh, swiftly by Salem there. And then another thing to account for is Marth, I feel, is it's He's a bit more lighter than um he's a bit more lighter than Ken is, for sure. Because he doesn't have he's susceptible to now dying or losing a stock and rather really a whole quicker. lot earlier than before. Yeah, a whole lot earlier than before. Because Ken is really heavy, if you think about it. He's kind of he's not exactly a heavy, but he's really close and it looks like the restaurant like caught the tip. Yeah, he caught that tip right there. On uh, Bart's Falchion. Yeah, that was a very nice ex execution there. Uh, and catching Salem off guard, actually, in, in that situation. And Salem, oh my god. He's just erasing stocks. As well, like giving him the Alolan whip. I really like how Salem goes extremely high and then throws the up B out just to get on the other side of the stage immediately from a recovering opponent. Right. Because, I mean, a, uh, recovering opponents actually have a really good advantage when they're coming back to stage because. They can really just get back to any side of the field wherever they want in like just about an instant. I feel, especially if your character is really fast, and that's a really good combo there from Restaurant. Uh, mm -hmm. Just surprised to see that there was nothing converted off of it. I guess, but then again, I guess it was best to leave it where it was. But down throw into potentially a read, but Salem didn't quite catch Up it. A little too high for him to get the back. Yeah. Conversion. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my goodness. Cross jumps. He expected that. He could have literally gone for a call off. Yeah. I don't That's think he be... expected it, though. I don't think anybody expected that. Like, Salem yeah. recovered into him. I didn't. Like, 